everyone I'll be showing you how I make this one skillet salmon with mushroom and artichoke so keep on watching that I'm gonna be using to cook this salmon so in here everyone I have two slices of salmon uh, I'm gonna serve this for my husband for his dinner and then one can of artichoke and I just rinse this and then slice in half one half cup of onions and then the garlic salt and I will be using some uh, oil as well and butter so let's get started everyone so with the salmon everyone I'm gonna go ahead and just season this with the black pepper I mean the garlic salt, not black pepper, just the garlic salt. That's all I'm going to be using. Uh, and I'm going to flavor my sauce later. So uh, I'm going to just be seasoning the, the front. And then I'm going to flip this one just to season just a little bit here. And I'm going to be using my other hand since I didn't touch the fish on my other hand. Okay, so I'll just make sure that the seasoning is all over this salmon. And if you want to season this with something else, uh, go right ahead. But I'm keeping this simple, everyone. Alright, so that's how I'm seasoning my salmon. So now I'm going to start cooking and uh, I'll be showing you how I'm going to make this one skillet salmon. So I'll be using my iron skillet, everyone. So I'm going to add about 2 tablespoons of uh, butter and I'm going to add a little bit of oil on this. not so much oil just enough to sear my salmon okay so I'm gonna just melt this butter and then once it's melted I'm gonna add my salmon everyone looks like this is ready so I'm gonna go ahead and add my salmon I'm gonna saute this or let this sear everyone for about five minutes on each side. Alright everyone, this has been cooking for five minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this. I love that color. That's the color I want. Okay. I'm going to cook that for another 5 minutes and then once the 5 minutes is done, I will take this out and cook my onions and artichokes. Everyone, since I have the portobello whole mushroom, I'm going to go ahead and use this one for my uh, for my salmon. That way I have enough uh, side dish for this. So I know it's one skillet but you know the artichoke will be enough I guess. So I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to use two. Um, this is six ounce of portobello whole mushrooms. I'm just gonna slice this. All right, everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out, so I can cook my vegetable. Just be careful. It's really hot, everyone. Yes, it's hot, everyone. And I'm trying to make this stay good together and not break it. That way I have a good presentation. Alright, now I'm going to cook my onions and uh, in here. I 
flour and I'm gonna put my mushroom. You can add any vegetable you want. And since I have some mushroom, I just went ahead and add more uh, vegetable, one more vegetable that way I got a good uh, side for this. Alright, just just give this a minute. Alright, now we're gonna put a little bit of black pepper on this. Okay, and a touch of soy sauce. So you can add seasoning as you go. Just a little bit of soy sauce, that's pretty much it. Not even a, uh, a tablespoon, just a little bit, just for a taste. Alright. I think my husband is home. The dogs are barking. Alright, now I'm gonna add my artichoke. Okay. So I'm just gonna let this saute for a little bit. And I'm gonna give this a taste if it needed some salt or garlic. Alright, I'm gonna just leave this alone and let this mushroom cook. Alright everyone, I'm gonna add a touch of honey in this. Just a little bit. This is gonna be really good. Okay. Then I'm gonna give this a mix. And then I'm gonna add my salmon back. That way while the mushroom is cooking, my salmon will continue cooking just to moist it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my salmon. Just put it on the top. Really nice, arrange it. Let's squeeze some lemon on this. And now I'm going to put the lid for this everyone. I don't have a lid for my big skillet, but I'm going to use my other lid so that will fit this one. So I'm going to put my lid and let this cook for about 10 minutes and I'll be back. Alright everyone, this is done. This has been cooking in on medium for 10 minutes. So now I'm going to just turn up the heat. And let this sit in here. The taste is just perfect. I'm not adding any more salt whatsoever. So as you see, I added uh, the mushroom. It wasn't the plan, but I decided to add it. And then I added the honey, the little bit of soy sauce, and, you know, of course, the salt and pepper uh, to taste. So now I'm just going to leave this alone and let it sit here. My husband is almost home. And once he's home, I'm going to start serving for his dinner. Alright everyone, here is the plate for my husband. He just got home, so I prepared him this plate with the salmon, mushroom, and artichoke. It tastes really good everyone. I love the way this tastes, so I hope that he will like it. So I hope that you enjoyed this recipe everyone. Please let me know if you give this a try. And remember you can always use different vegetables, not the kind of vegetable I'm using. You can always... Uh, twist this recipe to make it your own until next time everyone bye bye